Are you familiar with the frustration of moving 3D assets from one application to another? In this video, I'll explain how Apple, Nvidia, and others are building an open 3D ecosystem using USD to solve this issue. To create and render 3D content, we can use tools like Blender, Maya, or Houdini. If you create a beautiful model in Blender and want to view it on the Vision Pro, you need a way to translate that data between platforms. But what if we had a standardized file format that universally describes 3D scenes? Pixar faced similar challenges when scaling their production pipeline for increasingly complex projects like Coco, where they had tens of thousands of characters in a stadium scene. To address this, they developed USD, Universal Scene Description. The goal was to describe complex 3D scenes in a standardized format, detailing everything from camera angles to character movements. They open sourced USD in 2016. But if Pixar made it for the film industry, why are companies like Apple and Nvidia so interested? Nvidia shares a similar need for a standardized 3D framework, but in the context of the industrial metaverse. Their vision is to enable people to create 3D worlds for lifelike simulations and visualizations. For example, BMW uses NVIDIA's Omniverse to design and optimize virtual factories long before they're built in the physical world. And NVIDIA decided to build Omniverse on top of USD, just as Pixar does for animated movies. So why is Apple betting on USD? Apple is interested in building augmented reality and virtual reality applications. They want to bring immersive 3D content to devices like the Vision Pro, iPhone, and future AR glasses. For instance, this mountain bike model comes from the USD Working Group's sample assets on their GitHub, showcasing how USD can handle complex scenes with intricate details and animations. So how do all these companies, all building on this shared technology, evolve it for the future. In 2023, Pixar, Adobe, Apple, Autodesk, and Nvidia formed the Alliance for OpenUSD. Their mission statement reads, the Alliance for OpenUSD is an open, non-profit organization dedicated to promoting the interoperability of 3D content through OpenUSD. The degree of USD support in software tools varies greatly. For instance, while it is possible to export basic geometry and animations from Blender to USD, many features like geometry nodes don't translate nicely. On the other hand, Houdini offers much better USD support. It makes it easier to maintain a proper USD hierarchy, pack geometry, and name USD primitives for easier material assignment in Reality Composer Pro. Check out my latest video where I demonstrate this in detail. This showcases the promise of OpenUSD. USD is poised to become the HTML of the 3D world. 